The Kaduna state government is expressing concern over video clips making the rounds on social media about a particular ethnicity being massacred and their properties destroyed. Governor Nasser El Rufai is calling on residents to respect law and order and the rights of all citizens to live in peace. All Nigerians living in our state to respect law and order and the rights of all citizens to live in peace and security wherever they reside or work. I appeal to my colleagues governing other states in our country to make similar statements and disavow these attacks and massacres. We must avoid anarchy and vigorously promote the rule of law and the right of all citizens to life, liberty and livelihoods wherever they choose to reside. Elected and appointed leaders across the country must act on their constitutional obligations to protect all citizens, uphold order, and contribute to a climate for peaceful resolution of all issues. We're now being joined by Abada Melafia, the former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Good evening and welcome to News Night, sir. Thank you so very much. Thank it's so good much to have you here. Yeah. So, uh, you look at the state of the nation with the level of insecurity that we're experiencing and all the issues of uh, banditry. What's your thought? Okay, um, let me just put it this way. I'm not an expert on security matters. Yes, but as a Nigerian. Uh, so months ago, I know I spoke on security matters and, you know, uh, there was, shall we say, uh, a bit of a stall. Um, but I, I don't think things are getting any better. We just saw a clip of s brave soldiers uh, doing the best they can. We welcome oh. this. Uh, but the geopolitical tension in the country remains very high. Uh, uh, the insecurity hasn't really gone. Uh, in fact, some would say it has exacerbated. And uh, it is leading to what many are beginning to see as a kind of state failure. I don't believe that Nigeria is a failed state, uh, but unfortunately, I think that we are moving rapidly in that direction if care is not taken. So now, what's, what needs to be done? Because it seems the drums of uh, what some would call war are being beaten and getting louder and louder. The question of whether a Nigerian has a right to live in any part of the country is coming to the front burner of national uh, discourse. Absolutely. How did we get to this place? And what is this, the way out of this? Because now you have different regions, you yes. know, taking the laws into their own hands and saying, look, we have to protect ourselves yes. since the central government cannot protect us. Yes. Well, how did we get into where we are now? It is a big question. And let's be very fair. It didn't really start with this government. Those problems had been there and had been brewing from, for quite a while. But unfortunately, I think that in the current dispensation, some kind of agenda was added onto the, into foiling the emerging, you know, chaos. Uh, what people feel is an agenda because a particular ethnicity are free to carry serious arms in the course of doing that business and nobody else is allowed to do that. And these particular groups can go anywhere and kill and maim and rape and then nobody is brought before the law. This is really where we are. And uh, so, of course, uh, in the case of Omar Tekun, mm -hmm. uh, they were about to start it, but the federal government insisted that there must be due process of law legislation. And in fact, the police were involved in that, which was fair enough. Yes. In the case of the Southeast, uh, the ESN, the Eastern Security Network, was set up, you know, by IPOP uh, on its own without, <coughs> I would say, consultation with anybody. Um, the issue is, 
what does municipal law say? That is what do our laws say. What does our constitution say? Mm. What does our what does international law say? What does global ethics say? They all say that all communities that have cause to feel that there is an existential threat to their very survival, they have not only a duty but an obligation to okay. protect themselves. Thank All right. You. So, you know, they so have, have, to have to live there. Yeah. Thank you so much. They are free Thank to go. Over there, Melafia, former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria.